steam was like blown right in my face. Hello, hello. Got my sweet tea. Got some ketchup. That's all I have left. But it should be enough for my eggs. Simply Heinz. And today is Sunday, October 15th. And it is actually late. What time is it? I was working on homework till 8 o'clock. So it's 9 o'clock now. So I just, this was my first meal I ate today because I had to walk the dogs in the morning. Came home, started working on homework right away. So I just had, this is um, frozen hash browns that I just cooked on the stove. I started off with some oil and then when they were just about done, I put some butter in it and then we got some eggs that just had pepper and some sea salt and I cooked them in butter. So that's what's for dinner tonight, just hash browns and eggs. That's what's for dinner tonight. I don't have much, I don't have any extra ketchup, so. Ah! This is all the ketchup that I have. I was gonna put some shredded taco cheese in my hash browns and then I was like well maybe I can put a couple slices of Velveeta cheese in my hash browns but I was like you know what I'm just eating them plain oh and in my eggs I did put some my eggs have cooked them in regular butter put some I ground up some pepper, some sea salt, and then I also put some Cajun seasoning in my eggs. And then the hash browns, I just put some pepper, I put a little bit of sea salt, and that's it. Pepper, sea salt, cooked them in oil, a little bit of oil first, and then when they were just about done, I added some butter. Go on and grab yourself some of those hash browns. Go on and grab yourself some of those eggs with some Cajun seasoning. Delicious. My Steelers won today. For any of you guys that uh, watch football, did you see that catch by Antonio Brown late in the game? I was actually working on homework, but uh, my daughter texted me and said, did you just see that catch? I had the TV on, but at that time I was working on a quiz, so I wasn't like fully paying attention. So she, after I was done my quiz, she sent me a link to a video that someone got of the catch. Go in and have a bite. Do good. It's a pretty nice catch. Mm -mm -mm. If you've never sprinkled some Cajun seasoning in eggs while you're cooking them, you have to try it. So good. I had so much homework. Ugh. I'm trying to get my hash brown on the crunchy side, but I didn't want them to get burnt, so go ahead. Whoop. Go on and grab yourself a bite of those hash browns. Be careful, they're hot. They're crispier on the other side. in the middle um when did I post a bit tacos I had tacos Thursday right okay, yeah I posted that tacos video the same day I ate them I'm pretty sure so I had the tacos Thursday I had leftover tacos Friday leftover tacos Saturday They were good. 
I have enough hamburg for about one, possibly two more tacos. But I'm out of tomatoes. But I bought some um, nacho chips because I was planning on having, you know, with my leftover burger, my leftover taco meat, I was going to make nachos again. It might be enough for some nachos, but not like a big old plate. And then, since I forgot, or I'm out of tomatoes, and I forgot I don't have any more black olives, so. Mm, like crispy, crispy hash browns. Mm-mm-mm. So I used up all my eggs to make a nest. I was gonna just do three eggs, but I didn't want to leave just one in the carton, so four eggs. <laughs> Wasn't in the mood for toast or anything like that. So what's been new with me since Thursday? Well, you may ask. <laughs> and this is my sweet tea because I'm out of the raspberry. I was going to go pick my taxes up Friday. I had to walk the dogs and I came home. And I called the accountant because during non-tax season, which is now, um, they close early on, on Fridays, but I didn't know what time for sure. So when I got home from walking the dogs, it's probably like 12.30. I called and they said they closed at one. So I was like, well, I'll be there Monday then. Cause Monday they're open till five. Plus if you found an extension, I'm pretty sure they're due tomorrow or is it the 18th? I think tomorrow. The 16th. So they'll be electronically filed tomorrow when I go pick them up and sign. What else? Mm. Did I tell you guys about the inspector was here for the buyer? the potential buyer of this place. I think yeah, I had to have. And when the inspector was here, he said the um, central air conditioning unit <clears throat> had ice coils. So then I had to have my landlord's service company come out that very next day and he said there was nothing wrong with it. He said there were no leaks, but he added two pounds of Freon. But he said, even though he added two pounds of Freon, there were no leaks. So, Friday night, for evening, I was contacted and they said by the realtor, um, they said that the potential buyers want to have their service company come in, Habak or whatever, however you say it, 
Is it HBAC have that or HBOC? Anyway, the buyer wanted their company to come in and take a look at the air conditioning unit. So they were supposed to be here Saturday, yesterday, between 1 and 5. The landlord texts me yesterday morning and says, I'll be there at 1 o'clock with my service guy, you know, the same company that he has always used. So the landlord comes at 1 o'clock with his service guy. It's the same service company, but it was a different guy from the company. So they were here at 1 yesterday, and this guy takes a look at the air conditioning unit and he finds the leak. So there is a leak. There's a leak near the coils, something like that. So after they were done, my landlord said, I guess he was canceling the potential buyers service people from coming because the landlord's going to replace the AC, the AC unit. So now that, I mean, it's still working. However, I, he did say, the service guy said, because I was saying how I noticed it was, it seemed to be running a little bit longer, but like the past week or so, but I thought it was because it was really humid and rainy last week. So I'll be curious to see, he asked if my electric, if I noticed an increase in my electric bill. And I said, I'll have to wait until I get this month. <laughs> So I'm a little bit worried to see what my electric bill is going to be. So I guess, I guess from what my landlord was saying, he that he's not sure if the potential buyers are trying to back out of the contract. So I take it he told them that he's going to be replacing the air conditioning system. So we'll see if they still buy it or if they do back out of the contract. From what my landlord was saying, he said, if they back out of the contract, he thinks he's just going to keep renting it instead of us trying to sell it. But of course, I can't stay here with how much he wants to raise the rent. It's just ridiculous. There's no way. I am going to look at a townhouse on Tuesday. A city I've never lived in before. But they're brand new townhouses. The only bad thing is, it's, gonna, it's not going to be ready till the first week of December. But I told him, I said, well, I have to be out of my place by November 30th. He said, well, if you decide on it, I'll see if, if we can possibly get you in a few days early. Because if not, I'd probably have to keep my stuff in a moving truck for a couple days, but you figure I'd have to pay for it daily for as long as I have the truck, I would think. So I'm going to look at that place on Tuesday. I like the idea of it being brand new because no one's ever lived in it before. It should be updated. The windows should be good. <laughs> And it's a little cheaper than here, than what I'm paying right now. But I still officially have not decided what city I'm going to live in for sure. I still really like one in this another city. I just have to hope, I mean... I think if that one would be available, I 
by the time I have the security deposit, I think I would choose that one over the one I'm going to look at Tuesday. That one's still new. I think they were built in 2014. And it's still cheaper than here. A couple hundred dollars cheaper a month. So I think, even though I love the city I'm at right now, it's just too expensive. And I like, <clears throat> I like being close to everything, like stores and stuff, because in the back of my head, I'm always like, well, what if something happens to my car? Just these like what ifs go on in the back of my head. And I'm like, if I live somewhere that is in short walking distance to stores, then that's cool because I could just walk. You know what I mean? That's my mindset. I just like being able to be within walking distance just in case, you know? And the one I really like is definitely in walking distance to a lot of places. I would have to switch colleges though. If I would move into the one I'm going to look at Tuesday, I could still go to my same college, but it'll take me longer to get there. This was pretty darn tasty. I pretty much scarfed this all up, huh? So that's all that's been going on with me. How about you? How about you guys? A lot of y'all have been very quiet lately. Unless it's something with YouTube, I have no idea. But I notice it's been... I'm not gonna let that go to waste. <laughs> I notice it's been pretty darn quiet. Oh my goodness, excuse me. That was pretty tasty. I forgot my vitamin D. I already I took my B12 earlier. So I went through this state, how many, how many minutes are we at? 19 minutes. I'm going to keep this one halfway short because I want to upload it tonight. I went through this stage of <clears throat> buying comic books probably 10 years ago or so. Because I used to do stuff like eBay stuff. 
So I went through this period for like a year where I bought, this was when I was still married, where I bought a lot of comic books in hopes to just save them and then resell them years from now. So last night I was looking through some of them. I have one box still sitting here. So I was thinking about possibly, I used to have them all organized like this is just one of the things like I would have them organized from like what I have. So I have two of these, this size full. And then I have, you know, the real big brown square boxes. I have two of those. So I have four boxes total. I have a lot of um, amazing Spider-Man. So I was thinking about possibly going through some of these and my plan was to get them all rated, but that time has come and gone. And I have them all out of order now. I was just like, I have some incredible hawk ones. But I think, I mean, I haven't done eBay in years. And I think, uh, like nowadays, eBay has all kinds of fees and like I, I don't I don't know if um there's a twelve cent incredible hawk actually I have a couple of hawk ones Actually, I have a whole, pretty much a whole box. Got some incredible hawks. I'm gonna have to put these back in the correct order. So yeah, I ended up never getting them like rated because that can be pretty costly as well. But see, so you can make more money. Get this spider man. You can make more money if you have them rated. So I don't like I was just thinking maybe I should try to sell these like I don't have an eBay account anymore. So I would have to have one of my sisters like I would have to take the pictures and have a uh, have one of my sisters post them on eBay for me, but with all the fees I think eBay charges nowadays and with comic books, um, not making what they were back when I was going through my stage of buying them. This is cool. 30th anniversary. I have the Obama ones too. Do any of you, any of you, if you're into comic books, but I think that that's in my other box. Do you all remember the Obama ones when Obama became president? So yeah, I have two boxes just like this and then I have the big square ones that are like probably two of these put together full of comic books and I did have them all in order but when I was looking through them I kind of didn't put them back in the correct order so I'm trying to decide if I should go through them and maybe 
so, I mean, since I don't have them rated, that, you know, they rate them and they put them in those like hard plastic boxes and they rate it like 4.0, 5.0, all the way up to like 10.0, 9.8, 9. .8, you know, all those ratings. But I don't have money to be doing that to get them all rated, so of course I won't get as much for them. But last night I was kind of thinking maybe I could do it in lots, like, like do like, for instance, for instance, like, like the Incredible Hawk ones, for instance. You know, it's, it has 102, like the numbers, 104, 103, so I could do like lot of three and then put the numbers like 102, 103, 104 and try to sell it in like small lots like that. I just don't know if it's going to be worth it with all the eBay fees because I think if you, even if you don't sell it, they still charge you fees or something. It's eBay is completely different from back in the day when I used to sell stuff on eBay. So I don't know what I want to do. I don't know if I should just keep them. But I was like, well, if I could sell those and then I can get my security deposit. Because I told you guys that place I really like, I, I, I was filling out the whole application and at the very end it said, in little small letters at the end of the application, it said, if you're approved, you have to pay the security deposit within three days. I've never heard anyone say you have to pay it within three days. So I just X'd out of it and I'm like, well, I'll just have to hope it's still available when I have the 1250. So that's why I was thinking about trying to sell those. But I don't know. Like, I don't even know what else I could sell here. I mean, I, I do have a whole bunch of stuff in the basement, but I am not even in the mood to be going through that stuff. It's just hard to sell stuff nowadays. For uh, There was a while, a while back, was it, when was it? Maybe six months ago or so? I had, like I have a brand new KitchenAid mixer that I never even opened. Never took, never opened it, never took it out of the box. I was trying to sell that and I was given like, it was, I was trying to sell it for like $20 less than what you would buy it for in a store. And people kept going really, 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 really low. And I'm like, you know what? I'm just not selling it. And like brand new Uggs that have never been worn. Like stuff like that. But people kept going like trying to go way low. I could see if it was used or slightly used, then go that low. But if it's something that's brand new, not, the box was never opened or the shoes were brand new, never worn. I mean, I can see giving like, you know, 20 to $40 off, but when you're trying to get it like half off, no. And then I, I just took it all down. I'm like, you know what? I'm just keeping it off. <laughs> I do have a lot of stuff in the basement. Like... <laughs> I seriously have everything from when my daughter was born all the way up through high school. Like I have toys. The only thing I don't have is like crib, her crib, play pens, strollers, car seats, like that kind of stuff. But when it comes to toys and like papers when she was in preschool, kindergarten, all the way, I think I saved all her papers till she was probably in ninth grade is probably when I stopped collecting her papers. But I mean, I have clothing, her clothes, from when she was a baby till probably, till she was probably hmm, maybe 10 years old or so. I have so much of her stuff. School papers, all kinds, toys. You know, I should probably go through some of those toys. Some of those are about ready to be antique. <laughs> no, actually, I probably should go through them because 
there's probably quite a few things that had batteries and hopefully the batteries didn't leak. But I have so many, you know, I have a lot of that stuff in those big plastic bins. I just need someone to help me because I don't have the drive to go down there and just start going through it all myself. No. But yeah, that is all that's been going on with me. Tomorrow I have homework for my one class due. Well, she's given, it's kind of like the end the, for my one, one credit course. Actually, both two of my one credit courses, I was finishing the one stuff for the one, one credit course today. And then my other one credit course is over, I have to have everything turned in by the 17th, which is what, today is 15th. Tuesday, Tuesday night. So I'll have to do that stuff. And then I have another class, another one credit class starting next week or next Monday. And then I still have my three credit course. She's tough. The three credit course. Woo. Yeah. She's a tough one. It's a lot of work for her class. A lot. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. So yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to be cooking later in the week. I have no idea. I don't think I really have too much left here. Except for just odds, odds and ends stuff. I have some Salisbury steaks frozen, but I want to give those. I want my daughter to have those. But she's sick right now. So she's not going to be wanting, she's not going to want to eat those. The flu and stuff is going around right now. And when she gets sick, she usually gets sick for a while. For some reason, she's always been that way. So yeah, that is all I have for you guys for tonight. Um, I'm going to get this video uploaded. What time is it now? 9.30. How long is this video? 32 minutes. Hopefully it'll be up, uploaded by, saved and uploaded by 1030, hopefully. And then I will see you guys in a few days with another video. I'm not sure what it'll be. Um, but I hope you guys had a great weekend. I hope you all have a great Monday. And I hope you all have a great rest of your week. If I don't see you, well, no, I'll see you by, what's today? Sunday. I'll probably post another video Wednesday. Yeah, probably Wednesday, unless something else comes up before then. But yeah, thank you guys so very much for watching. I will more than likely see you Wednesday with what food, I have no idea. I will just be very happy to be moved out in a new place. It'll be nice. But yeah, that's all I got for you guys. Thank you again so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. And yes, Steelers won. I think I already said that. My Steelers won. Bye, guys. Talk to you all soon. In a couple days, I'll be back. Bye, bye everyone.